Hi guys, so here, so welcome to another music album review. So this time I am review reviewing um Rihanna's Rihanna's um album Good Girl Gone Bad. Now this is reloaded one. So this came out on the second of January June, my bad, um 2008. And this um album roughly goes for um 57 minutes. So shall we get to the tracks? Absolutely. So track one which is Umbrella, which is the most one of my favorite songs off of this album completely. I definitely see myself covering it. Definitely see myself doing a music and fitness video for for the song. I love the music. Absolutely love the lyrics. And um this just this um song alone just brings back so many memories and so many incredibly annoying ones as that because I used to be a pain in the butt with, with, with the song to my brother and he kind of um borrowed my single which um songs back in the day used to come in single form on CD and he nicked it and I never got it back and I'm feeling that he destroyed it but I'm definitely planning to cover in this video song my bad and the music video to the song will be down below so track two which is push up on me now this is actually another favorite of mine from the actual album i can see myself covering the song even a um doing a uh pardon me um a music and fitness video with the song sorry about that little burp i actually was eating noodles i haven't had in in a while um, I love the, um, music and the lyrics in the song, and it's just so many memories when I hear this song as well. It's just pretty, pretty cool. So, track three, which is Don't Stop the Music. Now, this is one of my most favorite ones, and yes, this was a single off of Rihanna's album, and I'll link that down below for you guys. Um, definitely see myself covering the song. Definitely see myself, um, making a fitness such fitness video with it i love the music i love the lyrics so much so much memories i um, just listening to the song and one of my different favorites so track four which is dishing um breaking dishes now i absolutely love the music in this um song i love the beat of it i definitely see myself um, making a um, just a fitness video with the song because there's a lot of great beats to it that I can make up some um, dances like um, Zumba does and a big shout out to Zumba because I really want to become a Zumba extra in instructor but I can easily figure out how I can in 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 implement incredible moves for the song. Track 5, which is Shut Up and Drive. Yes, this was a single off of um, this album as well. So, the music video will be linked down below. Um, definitely see myself covering the song. Definitely doing a music and fitness video. Absolutely. I love the um, lyrics and music. It's fantastic. Um, and this is really good um, memories of the song too. So, if you have seen... Um, bring it on all or nothing the song is actually featured and rihanna is actually in that movie so some of her music is actually really played throughout the entire movie so definitely go watch that movie trust me it's worth it and anyway and yeah i see myself covering it music video everything cool so track seven um Hey, that I love you. So this is actually featuring Neo. Um, it's an alright song. It's just not my cup of tea, basically, and that's just in my opinion, of, of course. It's the same thing with track seven. Say it. I do agree. It's definitely not my song, but it's not a bad song either. So track um six and seven, just not my cup of tea. That's not my cup of, cup of tea. So track. Eight, sell my candy. Definitely see myself covering this song. Um, I see myself making a fitness and music video, of course. I love the music, I love the lyrics, and I love how the beat is in the song as well. So, like out on my channel for one. So, track nine, which is give, give, 
give me that give me that hope I pronounced that right um it's the same thing with track um six and seven it's okay but it's just not my cup of tea it is what other people don't so good for you so track 10 which is rehab now i actually had to go and watch this on youtube because apparently it was not on my ipod and i was like really so um when you go on to the uh, music video justin timberlake is on this song as well so big shout out to justin um it's a really 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 cool music video it was so awesome and i'll link that down below as well which is track 10 um definitely see myself covering the song um making a music and fitness video with the song i love the um, music lyrics and yeah let's go to track 11 which is question um existing i think it is um if not i'll just have a photo of it just on screen for you guys um, <clears throat> I already do like the music beat in the song. I like the lyrics and I can definitely see myself doing a fitness video. Um, as I was listening to the song, I actually really, 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 really liked it as a fitness kind of video and it really would be cool. So track 12, which is Good Girl Gone Bad, which is actually the actual title of this particular album. And even though this was the re-release of the Good Girl Gone Bad, but it's an incredible song. Um, definitely see myself covering and making a um, music and fitness video with the song. Um, you can easily dance for day away and possibly night away with the song. And it's a pretty, pretty cool song. Pretty cool. Now, track 13, Cry. Um, I love the music, including the lyrics. I think it's really, really, really nice. I definitely see myself covering and making a music video with the song, and that's really it for that one. So, track 14, which is Deserbia. 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 That's all I can, I can pronounce this track. Anyway if I just sing it a little, little, little bit. But it's definitely one of my biggest favourite tracks off of this album alone. Definitely see myself covering it. And yes, and no, that was not the cover for, for that too. But definitely covering it. Definitely making a fitness and music video with it. Definitely love the music. Definitely love the lyrics. The memories with the song because I got very obsessed with the song when it actually came out. And I will also link the music video down below for you guys to so track 15 um take a blow now i actually got a little bit um confused with the song when it first came out because i really didn't like it when it came out but when you constantly try and listen to it and try to give it a chance it isn't a bad song um it does have an amazing beat to a song, including the lyrics. It's not bad, it's just not my cup of tea. And I'll also will link the music video to the song also down below as well. So go check it out. So track 16, which I have to admit, I really, really, really like. I actually watched it on YouTube just to save myself time off of my iPod. Um, which is called If I Never See You Again. Now, this is featuring Maroon 5, which is one of my favourite bands. Um, definitely see myself covering a song, making a music and fitness video with it. I absolutely love the music and lyrics. It goes with it so, so well. Um, and it's an amazing way to end the album off. Um, let me just take a quick sip. better so how would i rate this entire album well to be very honest with you guys this is one of my favorite albums from rihanna i really really like the entire album there's about three songs i didn't really like but they were okay off of that album so i'm probably going to give this an 8.5 out of 10 only because um I still like that album. I still like the feel of it. I remember when this came out in 2008. I fell in love with it. I was obsessed with it. I actually had the hard copy of the CD. And it's just an incredible, incredible, incredible album. But anyway, guys. I'm going to go. Remember, 
all my links to what I post on this channel, which is down below, including all my socials. If you want to see a previous video that has been posted, remember the link annotations will come up on your screen now. Um, please subscribe to my channel as well. And after all saying that, I hope to see you all very, very soon.